Hi, today I'll show you how to set up a jaw flap. Now, a jaw flap is a very simple way to visualize talking that makes use of the jawbone on an avatar to just jitter it like this, up and down, to give the illusion of actual talking. Now, this is either useful for just simpler avatars where you don't need lip movements, or avatars that don't have lip movements. This would be, for example, skeletons as a prime example, where you would only just have the jaw bone just flapping open and closing, which is where the name comes from, jaw flap. Now, let's just go over there, where I have set up a quote-unquote jaw, where we have the upper jaw and the lower jaw. Now, the lower jaw is just called the jaw, because that is the most used naming convention within avatar making, usually. So here we have the head, the upper jaw, and the jaw. First things first, you can see here that some values aren't as pretty as we would like. So we'll just click this button here. This will make a parent for our jaw here. And our actual jaw will now be positioned at 0, 0, 0 rotation 0, 0, 0, and scale 1, 1, 1. If we look at the gizmo here for the jaw, we'll see that the z-axis, which is the blue one, is the one that the jaw needs to rotate on in order to open and close. So if we set that to, for example, 30, you'll see it's a bit open like that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a bit sick. Now, what we need to do next is we need to find a way to animate this opening and closing because this does not really look like the best jaw flap animation this way. Now what we'll use for this is transform drivers value gradient driver of type float queue because rotations are float queue. Next we'll make two points grab the little extra little button here next to rotation and drag it over onto the value here. This will put the furry from here into here. Next, we want to set the position for that to 1 and keep the position for 0, 0, 0 at 0. Grab rotation, move it to the target here and simply press trigger. And then if we move the progress, you'll see it opens and closes. Next, we need to make this obviously be dependent on our voice. The way we do this is simple. We need a volume meter. You can find this in Attach Component, Media, Utility, Volume Meter. Now, you can obviously put an extra volume meter on your avatar. However, one thing to keep in mind is that if you have created an avatar with the avatar creator, and you have checked set a volume meter, then on your head proxy, which is a slot right beneath your avatar's root, usually unless you moved it, you will actually already have a volume meter somewhere on here if you set it up. Now, the easiest way to know whether or not you have one actually is to go to Whisper and see if your Whisper visual changes because if you don't have a volume meter, there's no way for your whisper visual to get brighter or darker because it can't find your voice. At least not the volume of your voice, because that's what that component is used for natively, at least. Now, since I already have one here, but we just made one, I'll be continuing to use this one here, but it works the exact same if you're using this component here. I'm just setting it up so that you know how it works. Now, from scratch, what you then have to also keep in mind is that the source here is null. So what we'll do quickly is we'll just steal the source from here. You can also find this on the actual audio output on the source field here. And just drop that into the source field here. And now you'll see that the value here is changing. In order to copy this over to here, we can simply grab the volume, move it over onto the progress and let go then select drive instead of write back drive. And now when I talk, you can see the jitter. Now it's not very pretty because it's not smooth. 
So the leaf does a smoothing of like 0.4, and now that looks a lot better, but it does not open a lot. So what we can do here is either we lower the position here, so that now it's going to go to the open position much faster, or we could adjust the power here to something like 0.25. The lower the power, the larger the volume is going to be. And if we set it to 0.25, you can see that looks a lot nicer when I talk. Now, obviously, you can play around with power and smoothing until you find something that you think looks nice. But personally, I think this looks good enough. Now, one thing to keep in mind also is, if you are setting it up from scratch yourself, this source field here, the moment you save your avatar, is going to go like this. No. This is because your voice is not saved on your avatar. It gets assigned when you equip the avatar from a stream that is on your actual user. Now, the thing is, if you're using the one that already exists on here, you don't need to worry about this. The reason being that we already have an avatar voice source assigner on here with a target reference for this volumeter here. Now, what this component does is when you equip the avatar, it finds your voice and then applies it into the source field here automatically. Now, you could either grab this avatar voice source assigner here, drag it over onto here, and then let go and copy the component, or if you don't have any of these avatar voice source assigners anywhere on your head proxy, or you just don't want to open up the head proxy, you can simply go to attach component, then we want to go to users, common avatar system, audio, avatar voice source assigner, and then simply grab the source and drag it into the target reference field here. And now if the avatar is equipped, it'll automatically apply it. Now this does not apply right now, obviously, because we won't be equipping this. So in order to restore it currently, you need to manually assign this value. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a job flag. There is nothing else to see here. Uh, if you want to look at this example object here, uh, it's not going to work when you spawn it out, obviously, but it is in my public folder. In the avatar setups, I think, is what I'll call the main folder, where I'll be putting a bunch of stuff that just shows off some stuff you can set up on your avatar. That is more, you know, core stuff. Now, in order to make this work on your avatar, you'd have to like parent it to you somewhere and then save your avatar. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you in setting up whatever avatar you want to set up or whatever extra tool you want to set up. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.